right, what's going on guys and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about something I've actually talked about before, but I'm gonna to try to break it down. So it's gonna be how to calculate your daily macros or how to calculate how many calories you need, you know, whether you're bulking, you're cutting, you're maintaining. I'm probably gonna focus on cutting though because it is that time to cut. And then I'm also gonna go into, you know, how do you decide what to eat and how much of it you need to eat. I will also break down how to calculate the calories for the cooked serving size of food and the uncooked. So like, how do you how do you figure out what those calories are like in a potato or like the rice, right? Like how much do you need to make? And then there'll probably be another video in this, it's not, it's like two parts here, I guess. That would be the first part. And another, another video is gonna be when do you change up how many calories you're eating? Because eventually you're gonna have to change up your calories to keep making progress. So you're not gonna eat the same amount, you know, for like a year. You're probably only gonna do it for a certain amount of time. So how long is that? And that's gonna be in a different video. But let's get into how to figure out how many calories you need, and then we'll look at how to weigh it out. When calculating your daily macros, there are a few things you wanna keep in mind, such as your body type. Are you an ectomorph? Are you a mesomorph? Are you an endomorph? I won't go into a bunch of detail about those different body types, but you can find more information in the description about them. Then you have things like your activity level. So what do you do on a daily basis? Do you exercise, your age, your weight, your height? All of those things are going to play into your daily calories. So it's best to use your best judgment when determining some of these things to figure out your daily calories because it's not going to be perfect, but you do your best and you'll get close. Also, there are two ways you could figure out your daily calories. You could do it the manual way, which I will add more links in the description so you can check it out and see if you want to do it that way. Or you can do it the way that almost everybody does it. And that's with an online calorie calculator. And I have one of those created for water jug fitness. So I'll briefly show you how to kind of use it. I have an entire ebook on exactly how to use the macro calculator that I have and basically a more in-depth version of this video. I have an entire ebook that goes over everything. So make sure to also check that out. But had to plug it. Now back to what I was talking about. So yeah, there's just two ways. There's a manual way and there's using the online calculator. So let's take a look at using the online calculator. I'll show a quick example so you can follow along. You can enter your own information if you would like. And then in the description, I'm going to have a little worksheet that will have one, maybe two more examples just to give you a better idea as to how it works. And, um, you know, just to hopefully provide more information and more help for you guys. So I'm going to cut the voiceover off quick while I run through this little example. Again, you can enter your own information, but check it out and I'll be back in just a few clips. Once you have your TDEE or total daily energy expenditure, you want to move to the next section and here you're going to be able to choose if you're cutting, if you're bulking, if you're maintaining, and then your kind of level of progression, you know, how drastic do you want to go? I guess you could call it. And here you can again do it for yourself. I'm going to choose cutting. That's just for me and the calories will adjust. And then I'll move to the next section and I'm going to select how much protein, carbs, and fats I want for each day. This is where it can get a little bit confusing as to, well, how many carbs do I need? How much protein do I need? How much fat do I need? And if you're just starting to figure out, you know, your calories for the day and you're doing cutting, um, I'll put some examples or I'll put some screenshots of some different diets uh, from, ma from a macro level and macros are your protein, your carbs, and your fats. I'll put some on the screen so you can kind of see. But again, I'm not trying to push my ebook on you guys, but my ebook has all of this broken down in detail um, with a ton of examples. So if you're still confused after this, just check it out. I think it's only like $11. So not a huge expense, but um, yeah, it really goes into detail and it will really help you out. But continuing on, yeah, this is, I think, where people have a lot of difficulty is, you know, trying to figure out this balance of protein, carbs, and fats. And again, there are some examples. Um, so just kind of pick the one that works best for you and go from there. 
And then if you scroll down just a little bit more to that last section, you're going to see your total daily calories, how much protein you should eat, how much carbs, or how many carbs you should eat, uh, and the amount of fat that you should eat each day to help you progress towards your goal. Again, whether it's cutting, bulking, maintaining, whatever it is, uh, those are the calories down there that you wanna try to hit every single day. All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. And now we're gonna move on to actually figuring out what do you eat and how much do you need to eat of it? And how do you figure out how much, how much do I need to eat? Like how much rice do I need to eat with each meal to meet my carbs or, you know, how much carbs, how do I, how can I eat to meet my calorie, my daily calorie limit? Let's just go with that. Let's get into that now. So what I used to do in the beginning when I was just learning how to calculate calories and you know figure out how much I needed to eat in a day is I would go into my fitness pal and I would create meals. So I would create you know a meal of this many grams of rice and this much protein and this much broccoli and I would say okay that's this many calories. So then I know that when I prep my food I need to prep that much to equal that many calories. Then I'll do the same thing for dinner, right? Like maybe I'm having a sweet potato or pasta. So I will go into my fitness pile, I will put the amount of pasta I want or the sweet potato, the amount of that that I, the amount of sweet potato I want, and I will go put a meat, whatever I want, ground beef, ground turkey, steak, chicken, fish, and then I'll put another vegetable and I will figure out the calories for that meal. And then I can go make that meal or make several of those meals and those are two of my meals for the day. Those would be two meals for the day. Now, obviously you have several other meals throughout the day. You would just repeat that process. You would add a breakfast in there. So maybe you want oatmeal and um, some fruit and I don't know, a glass of milk. So that's a meal. You put that into my fitness pal. And again, all of this tracks in there and it'll tell you a calorie count as to where you're at and how many calories you have left. Um, so that just kind of helps you to know um, if you're reaching your calories that you need to daily to meet your goal. And I almost always prep my meals and figure out what I'm going to eat throughout the week, like on Saturday or Sunday. So I know for the most part what I'm going to eat almost, almost every day. It just helps me to stay on track, have a routine, meet my goals. It's just the best way to make progress. I feel like is to meal prep. Now you don't have to meal prep though. You could subscribe to the I I F Y M, which is if it fits your macro. So basically you just eat, you know, throughout the day and you kind of track what you're eating. So, um, if you went and got an egg McMuffin at McDonald's, you would just put that into my fitness pal and you would continue with your day. And if at lunch, you went and got Chipotle, you would track your Chipotle meal in my fitness pal. And then dinner, you got, I don't know, some other restaurant. Again, you put that into my fitness pal, you track your calories. And then once you hit your calorie limit, calorie limit, you're just done eating for the day. I just, I prefer to meal prep. I mean, you could go with either option. I think meal prepping is easier. I think it's just a better way to go about reaching or getting those results that you want. So when it comes to meal prepping, you've come to the right place. The Water Jug Fitness channel is loaded with meal preps and step-by-step -step instructions, demonstrations, voiceovers on exactly how to meal prep. It lays everything out. I got meal breakdowns. I got all that great stuff on my channel for free. probably going to want to get a food scale. You don't have to, but if you don't have one, it's hard to just eyeball you know, eight ounces of chicken, seven ounces of chicken, 150 grams of rice, uh, 300 grams of sweet potato. Like what? How do you, how do you just mentally picture that? Um, so with a food scale, it does make it easier. It's not a must, must, must have, but it is highly recommended that you get one. And for this last part, I kind of want to just demonstrate cooking a couple of foods, one being rice, another being pasta, and one being sweet potato. Um, I've done this similar thing for chicken and steak in the past. So basically just kind of showing you how much I cook raw and then how much it comes out to when you, or when it's cooked. Because rice 
is it changes a lot and it's easy for people when they're new to meal prepping and cooking to make way too much so i just wanted to show you a quick little demonstration and also provide just a general recommendation or recommendations for what a serving size for him or a guy would look like and what a serving size for her or a woman would look like. Again, that will vary slightly, obviously, depending on your goals and depending on all those things, like I said in the beginning, but for you know, an overall general purpose, these are some serving sizes that you could kind of stick around if it's your first time prepping or if you're newer to meal prepping or you know, even portion control. Here are some general guidelines for you guys. I hope you find it helpful. And that's pretty much it for this voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. That has always been my goal with these types of videos. They take a little longer. I try to put more effort into them because I really want you to understand them. That's also why I try to provide additional information like in the description or the ebook or, you know, I have a, I have a custom meal planner product as well. So you, if you bought that, I'm not pushing my products, but I just try to make these things that are, that are helpful. So I have that meal planner out there that just, breaks down you know you could say i want this much chicken and all this type of stuff and it will add it to a meal plan right there you can see it um yeah so i just check those things out if you want to i hope you guys found this video helpful let me know in the comments feedback's always helpful to make it better and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for videos like this and i'm out